So, I am a Sacramento Kings fan, and uh, it's been tough. It's been tough watching the Sacramento Kings. Let me get a drink of my Red Bull. It's been tough, and um, it's been tough, and um, what in the world's going on with Demonis Sabonis? I mean, I make excuses for him every single game, but we got games where he's just showing up. He's starting to seem like Anthony Davis, the roller coaster, as Stephen A. Smith would say. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You know what? I like Demonis Sabonis, and I'm glad we traded him for Tyrese Halliburton. But for some reason, all the talk on the uh, offseason about improving his mid-range and, you know, I'm starting to see that a lot of this talk is just good talk for them to say because they know they got to say something good. You can't be negative in your press conference interview or post game or pre game interview you gotta say what you have to say but you know it's kind of robbing the fans a little bit because uh Demonis Sabonis is an all-star we know this but uh how many points not rebounds okay and uh the turnovers are pretty high as well but how many points okay for Demonis Sabonis to not be able to knock down these, <clears throat> excuse me, Red Bull break. Ah. For Demonis Sabonis to not be able to knock down these mid-range shots is pretty much the end all in the Thor or the Thanos to defeat the Sacramento Kings. Because I've noticed over and over again, these teams, what they would love to do is just back off of Sabonis dare him to shoot it guess what you do that enough times with the minus bonus what i realized is he gets in his head once he gets in his head even if he's open for that mid-range that they fell back on he's not gonna shoot it he's gonna pass the ball why i thought you were practicing your mid-range during the off season because you got completely annihilated and destroyed and exposed in the playoffs against the Golden State Warriors last year. So I thought you've been improving on this. I thought you've been working on this, trying to better yourself at that percentage, at that mid-range shot. False. This is irritating. The more I talk about it, the more irritated I am getting. No beam is going to be lit when Demonis Sabonis can't knock down his mid-range. Now, on a little bit lighter note, Demonis Sabonis does get fouled a lot and he gets hit in the face almost every single game like he's boxing out there. It seems like every time he plays, he's in a boxing match, just getting knocked all in the right hook, left all in the face. Referees don't call it. I think that's a problem. It's not going to change. Nobody's going to complain about it. Not me. Guess what, Demonis Sabonis? Get hit with those right hooks and keep on playing because we know you're not knocking down the mid-range, but at least you can keep on playing. The last game, Mike Brown sat down Sabonis and we started playing better. That's a shame. Why are we sitting down one of our top two players on our team and we start doing better? No, that's not going to happen often, but that's still a shame. Mind you, I watch every single Sacramento Kings game, okay? And I see what's going on. Moving on from Demonis Sabonis, 